Welcome to our final module of this MOOC, the FIFA World Cup 2014 in Brazil. This time we'll discuss legacy. What happens when everything is over? What does remain for the host? Which benefits, which costs does the host have to carry after the four-week Soccer World Cup is over? An event legacy is passed from the event to the host. After extensive planning of at least seven years, the host intends to have a viable legacy for every investment they have made into their host for the betterment of their citizens. Now the event owner, like FIFA, have certain demands about infrastructure, media, and venues just for the specific event, but the host needs to pay particular attention at what the legacy will be. Inherently, there's a conflict between then FIFA and the host, as FIFA is primarily focused on the event in itself, whereby the host looks at broader issues that go way beyond the event in itself. If we look at infrastructures and menus alone, there's a certain way that basically FIFA shapes their host. For example, there are minimum seating capacities for stadia who need to have, that need to have very good transportation access for the fans. Legacy can be defined in the broadest terms. It can be short-term or long-term, tangible or intangible, and so forth. Legacy can be seen in several ways. Let's, for example, take the immediate impact. Millions of people watch the Soccer World Cup and get an impression of the event and, of course, the host in itself. The host wants to display a world-class image to the world and showing itself as being capable of staging such an event without a glitch. Then, for example, we can look at the venue legacies. For World Cups, at least 10 to 14 stadiums need to be FIFA-ready, which usually require large investments into the stadia. After the event, these venues need to be well-maintained, and obviously it's in the best interest of the host that these venues are continuously used. Then, of course, we have transportation and other infrastructure legacy, like hotels. To allow access for visitors around the world, good accommodation requirements are in the FIFA standards, as well as transportation issues that need to be addressed to provide visitors with an excellent experience of the World Cup overall. Then we have the human and capital legacy, the soft legacy, and the social legacy of what actually it means for the nation to stage an event like this. It could be pride, it could be experience, but we'll go into that in detail later.